there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about my dad and hate the decisions that I made. A final plea today from a woman who planned her stepfather's murder. It worked despite the emotional outcry from the man's family. 10 News reporter Jill Little reveals why a judge reduced her sentence so she may not spend the rest of her life behind bars. Bree Hansen plotted to kill her stepdad here in this Rolando home with her brother as a trigger man. Both were sent to prison, but Hansen thought her punishment was too harsh. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about my dad. A sobbing Bray Hansen read from a piece of paper after hearing from her own family, people who loved her stepfather, Timothy McNeil. I have to lie when people ask me how my father died because his story is just too awful to tell. In 2007, a 17-year-old Hansen staged a robbery, lured her stepdad to the house, and got her older brother, Nathan Gann, to shoot McNeil in the head. Gann was sentenced to 25 to life, Hansen got life in prison without parole. It wasn't then and it still isn't a cruel and unusual punishment. However, life sentences were ruled unconstitutional for minors after Hansen's trial. The case was sent back to the judge for resentencing. Monday, Timothy McNeil's family fought to keep the now 25 year old behind bars forever. The only thing that's going to change is that she's going to get smarter and she's going to know how to work the system better. Bray has made me uncomfortable since she was in middle school and I think that she is a complete sociopath. Oddly enough, it was Hansen's old school teacher who came to her defense, saying the woman's mother was abusive and she was molested by her brother. Let her have a chance at life. She didn't have a good chance at life when she was a kid. Hansen apologized to McNeil's family, but her attorney wanted her to face the judge as she read. I've made lists of all the things I've deprived you of and written countless letters of apology. But they all fall short of the grief and the pain that I know I've caused you. In the end, the judge relented. I have decided to change the sentence 25 years to life. Now Hansen's brother, Nathan Gann, was already sentenced to 25 years to life in 2009. In Orlando, Joe Little, 10 News.